good whatever time of day it is. Today we're going to what time? My watch wasn't on. I have no idea. Um, we're <laughs> I think going. It's two. We're going to. We got a late start today, but we're going to hopefully get the roof rails installed, and yep. those are the things that the solar panels will attach to. And then after that, if we have time, we're going to start trying to wire electrical in the van. So let's get at it. So while Woody is on the ladder right here. He's going up top and trying to get all these little weatherproof plugs out of the holes um, that the roof rails screw onto. I'll show you what I mean. So all these little plugs all along the side of the van, they're just plastic. So I'm in here using some pliers and they're really like delicate. And I'm breaking these plugs off from the inside while Woody is up here with a blow dryer. You can see that I've gotten two holes open so far. Started as that little plug, so I'm heating it up to get that glue. This glue heated up right here and then sliding a screwdriver because I cannot find my chisel underneath it. So we can get a fresh hole and then we'll use some acetone later to polish it off. Hmm? What are you heating it up with? A blow dryer, because I don't have a heat gun. <laughs> it's a little slower, but it's working just fine. So this is what it looks like once we got the little plug out. But you do need to heat it up at least a little bit to make the glue soft. We've got a few of them done. Woody's on top of the van working on it. He's working on this one right now. up here because it's so late in the day the sun went behind our house and so it's freaking cold and right now what I'm doing is trying to get the excess glue off of all these little holes so Woody was able to pull the plugs out but look at all this glue so I'm using acetone and it's supposed to look like this and get it all off I only have nail polish remover but it is 100% acetone I would not use just nail polish remover because it might take the paint off and it's already like turning my fingers white. So Woody's going to get me some gloves. So I'm just dipping a microfiber towel into the acetone and then scrubbing at it. And I'm also using a flathead screwdriver to like kind of scrape some of it off. And then I just keep doing that process until I get it clean until it looks like that. Okay, so I have it wrapped around my finger, the towel. I'm just gonna dip it in here to get it nice and soaked you want a lot. And then I'll just start rubbing at it and so it softens it up. And you gotta do it a, mo a couple times, especially if it's thick like this, and I'll use my nail to like scratch at it. Just let it soak on there. And then I will get the flat head and just start scraping it off kind of similar to acrylic nails. <laughs> See how it's just coming off in chunks? And then I'll just keep doing that until it's all the way off and then I'll move on to the next one. So what I'm doing right now is after you get all the glue off of the hole, I'm gonna put some paint on it, just paint around the edges because I was scratching at it when I was getting the glue off and so I just want to make sure that there's no possibility for rust. 
And so I'm just going to do that along all of these holes and wait for that to dry and then we can start putting the rails in. Okay, I got them all done. I went along and got all the glue off and then painted them all. That's what it looks like. So now I'm just waiting for the paint to dry and Woody went to the store. So I'm kind of stuck up here on the van until he gets back and it's freezing. Okay. All right, babe, what are you doing? I am putting butyl tape with holes in it into or over the bolt holes so that we just assure a nice seal seal around the sorry it's a little cold it's really cold um where the connectors are so i made these little patches of it to expand on that the rails right here that we got on amazon they came with this uh foam like weather strip that woody stuck on the back it was like a giant sticker and then we're putting butyl tape or yeah, butyl tape on all the holes. And so when we put this on, and there's already pre-drilled holes and screw it in, it'll act as a seal so water doesn't get in. It's getting dark, but you can see we have this rail on. And what he did was bolted the first hole down. And you can see the little holes. Sorry if that's not focusing. There's a hole there. There's a hole there and all, all the way along the way. And it actually comes in three pieces. You can see that one over there is in three pieces. And you line it up along the van. And the idea is, is that what holds the brackets to the solar panels will go in here. And I'll show you guys tomorrow when there's more daylight. And then there was light. It's just a flashlight. Oh, also these screws are hex screws, right? Allen wrench. You use an Allen wrench for them, which is why Woody's not using his drill right now because he doesn't have a bit for these types of, you can, let me, see it's a, for an Allen wrench. Okay, now we're back inside the van and the next step is to put the nuts on all of these bolts from the roof rails, nuts and washers. So it just sandwiches it, it cinches it in between. So the roof rails are on top, obviously, and then it's coming down. To show you guys what goes on each of the bolts, it's the big washer, the little washer, and then the nut. The big one and then the little one is a locking washer and then you put the nut on each. So I have two sets for two bolts. Washer, locking washer, and nut. Sorry. Got a washer in your mouth? Yeah, a dirty mouth. <laughs> Uh, Dad jokes. Oh, I can't find my nut. There it is. Real mature. What? We're going to have to do that 20 more times because there's 11 on each side across the entire van and you can see the butyl tape like squished through and that's okay helps an extra it helps it seal all right we're done we got all of the nuts on rails are bolted in it's really dark outside so you wouldn't be able to see it but i'll get up there tomorrow and show you guys what it looks like it honestly wasn't too difficult of a job compared to the other things that we've done so far 
A little um, time consuming. Yeah, but. slightly time consuming because of getting all the glue off like I showed you earlier. Um, and heating up the glue first to pull the little plastic plug out and a little tedious, but it honestly isn't too difficult. Well, looks like we're actually not done. Woody was just tightening them and I want to show him what happened. Checking to see if they were all good, but we... The bolt just broke. broke. When he was tightening it, just broke right off and actually part of it's stuck in there now, so... That's cool. There's the two washers right here. It just broke. That sucks. So now Woody's getting back up on top of the van and replacing it. To make matters worse, it's starting to snow just a little bit. Second time the charm, right babe? Yeah, something like that. Don't be so strong. Sorry. I'll try to tone it down a little bit. <laughs> just not used to having to do that, I guess. <laughs> Break. Come on. That's good. Don't break any more. Loose. Victory! Woo! <coughs> oh. I feel like I'm always squinting because of the sun. Mm -hmm. It's the next day now and it's nice and sunny outside, so I figured I'd climb up to the top and show you what the roof rails look like. Thanks for holding the ladder, babe. Yep. If you guys found this video helpful, please hit that like button, comment down below, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we post more videos. And last but not least, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.